Hi, welcome to the first video in my series on matrices. So what do we mean by a matrix? Well, as you can see, a matrix is an array of numbers. Say something like this. And we put our set of numbers inside these brackets. And we can have arrays of different sizes. But let's just first of all look at this array of numbers. What could it represent? Well, it could represent, for instance, the number of gold, silver and bronze medals, say, won by two countries. Let's say those two countries were A and B. So obviously, say, this five here would represent five silver medals from country A and so on. Now you can have matrices of varying sizes and shapes. You can see here what we've got is a matrix with just one row. And it's got what we call three columns. And here we have a matrix which is often referred to as a square matrix for obvious reasons. It's got two rows and two columns. We can have matrices which are just one column. This is called a column matrix and it might represent, say, the points that someone scores if they come first, say, in a race, and five points if you come second, one point if you come third. So you can have arrays of numbers, matrices in other words, representing different things and they come in different sizes. This size is often called the dimension. It's the number of rows by the number of columns. And what we tend to do is not write any notation on the outside of a matrix. We just write them without those definitions. So a matrix like this, for instance, what would its dimension be? Well, for its dimension, it would be two rows by three columns. So we'd say its dimension was a two by three matrix. This matrix here we said was called a row matrix. Let's just write that in, a row matrix. Whereas this one down here is a column matrix. And the one above it, we call that a square matrix. So just to recap then, what would these dimensions be? For this one, it would be a one by three matrix, one row, three columns. The square matrix here would be a two by two, two rows, two columns. And finally, the column matrix here would be a three by one, three rows, one column. Now we always give matrices a name. And when we write the name of a matrix, we tend to write it with a capital letter. And something like this could be called the matrix M, for instance. So we've got M equals that particular matrix. It could be N equals P equals the square matrix, Q equals the column matrix. All right, so just a brief introduction to what a matrix is, the dimension, the size of a matrix, and the notation that we tend to use. Now, in my next video on matrices, I'll show you how we go about doing operations like adding, subtracting matrices, multiplying a matrix by a scalar, and multiplying two matrices together. And as usual, You'll find plenty of other maths videos if you just go on my website. They're all free and cover many aspects of maths.